June 2013, I took a trip to the UK. It was an educational trip in the University of Lincoln. Uh, it lasted 15 days and 5 other days that I stayed in London. I remember being at the airport and, and my best friend gave me a call and he's like, aren't you scared? You're going all alone. So I said, that's the point. I'm going all alone. So finally, when I got there, all alone, among people who I've never seen before. While everybody else over there had familiar faces around them, they'd come in groups, they'd come with teachers, they'd come with their friends. I was all alone, uh, did not know who these people were, did not know where I'm going to stay, did not know the place, did not know the road, did not know anything. But what struck me like a right lightning was that uh, I was there as an individual and what I really had to do is just find some time for myself, spend some time with myself because people don't usually do that anymore. But if you do take some time off for yourself and spend some time with yourself, you do realize that you're after all not so boring to be with and you're actually kind of fun. So I'm in my room and I say, uh, let's go for a walk. But I uh, realize that I have to go all by myself because uh, there was nobody else over there. So um, I get out and I start walking all by myself. Uh, and I walk for about two and a half hours straight uh, with nobody. Just uh, my phone, my music, and uh, I walk for two and a half hours and then find myself at a bar and I'm sat down over there and I sit down and I start sketching, writing and by the time I realize it, two hours, another two hours have already passed. Um, I remember writing uh, poetry as a kid but again um, I start penning down a few feelings and by the time I realize I'm writing poetry again. I was all alone writing poetry and that's when it struck me that if I was back home and uh, getting bored, I would have just probably texted another friend, met up with them, I would have not been sitting all alone over here and, and doing and writing poetry. I admire your stillness, how like an unknown lake, but would a ripple be so bad just for old time's sake? Novelty is the spice of life, giving chills, clad in restless delight. But all that is felt is calm, wrap and warmth. It's like I've known you forever or no. Uh, these days, uh, we blend into a crowd sometimes so much so that you kind of tend to forget yourself. So it's really just about uh, finding a little time for yourself, uh, discovering that one thing, uh, even though you're all alone while you're doing that one thing, you're not lonely. And uh, that can only happen if you just take a little bit of time out for yourself. And is it really that simple? Sitting with a weight on my head Thinking about you but you're all